Well, as you can see, I am back out again. It's a little less windy, but it's still pretty windy. Um, first target, right on top of the ground. Surface find. A lighter. It was full. It's too windy to uh, show you, but full lighter. Cool. That's a buck. Okay, here's a good example of a nice deep target with the uh, storm foil. Turn the headphones up so you can hear it. See how it's jumping up in like the 70s? But it's got kind of an iron sound to it. It's a live dig. It's probably a shotgun shell. Deep shotgun shells do sound like that. But it was showing up 8 to 10 on the meter. It's probably very deep. There could be iron in the hole with it, but I'm guessing shotgun shell. Could be anything though. See how the sound got better? Some nice dark staining in there. The probe can't even get down to it yet. And down here, nine inches already. Let me pinpoint it, see exactly where it is. in the bottom of the hole. Let me just dig it up. Might not be a shotgun shell then. I'm gonna have to find it and get back to you, but I think it's down here pretty deep. Okay, I just dug a little bit more dirt up, pushed it up there, and I'm gotten down to it. It's right down in here, which is nine all day. Don't know what it is. Okay, I'm on it. Let's pull it up. Ooh, -hoo. that's not a shotgun shell. That is a suspender piece or garter, something along those lines. That's awesome. That is quite old. Definitely I'd say 1800s. But as you can see, it was some sort of garter or suspender -y bit. Kind of looks like the Mickey Mouse ears. Never seen one like that. Let's see if that was it. Yep, that was it. But perfect example sitting right in that hole right there. Pinpointer is nine inches, so just above nine, right about ten. Ten inches, it hurt it all day. That storm coil. I never would have heard that one with the uh, sharpshooter. Awesome. I'll show you this signal too, just because it's another really good one. I won't live dig it because I think it is definitely a shotgun shell this time, but check this out. You can see the numbers are pretty low and they're very jumpy. right in here right where that leaf is but I'll show you it whatever it is when I dig it up okay we're down to it it's giving me 60s and 70s again first thing I see is iron in the side of the plug here no that's wood yeah iron that's actually burnt wood that's a good sign but it's right here still a ways away Good size, not big size, but nice size for like a coin or something. But I'm guessing shotgun shell. Yep, shotgun shell. Nice old one. Pretty sure these are the 1800s. UMC New Club with the star. Oh, very deep again. 
came right out of the bottom of here. About seven, eight bullet. Definitely not Civil War era, post war. But that is a lead bullet. Cool. Older run. Not Civil War, but 1880s or to the 20s, probably. Another big old bullet fired. Definitely uh, post Civil War. It's got the lines going up and down in the rings there. Definite marker that it's after like 1880 or something like that. Machine made. Okay, this just popped out of the plug. It almost looks like a rose head nail. But that was sitting right here in the top of the plug. Check out this signal. It's definitely down there, way deeper, but I never would have heard it if I didn't dig that nail. I see it, and it's a shotgun shell. You got to be kidding me. That was such a good target. Ugh. Yep, that was it. That's probably iron. Yep, iron nail. Oh well. That is a iron horse reins guide. See how it would spin down on there? That's where the reins went through. It's an iron one. That's okay. I'm getting pretty dark now. Oh, we got a nice deep 70s signal. Way deep down in there. I think it's a cap of some sort. Oh yeah, kind of like a mason jar. Huh, what does that say? Tau Colette, I think. Tau Colette. That's cool. Kind of like a mason jar. There is a big, like, burn layer down at the bottom there. Very cool. Absolutely gonna save that one. Sweet. part to a harmonic read. I've been here for three hours by the way. I have not shot much footage because I was not finding much. But now I am. Cool. Alright, screaming signal. I thought it was iron, but looking at it, it is not iron. Don't quite know what it is. It's wrapped around a root. That interests me greatly. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Definitely has some words on it. Don't know if you can tell. I can't tell what it says. Well, let me know if you can tell what it says. Because I sure can't. K-A-E something. I really don't know what this is. Oh man, I hit it. Well, any ideas, please let me know. I think that was it. Yep, screaming 90s signal. I don't know how I ever missed that one. Awesome. Well, I got a spoon in situ down here. I thought I saw something else green, but I didn't. Nice spoon, silver plated. Sweet. I love spoons. Absolutely adore them. Let's see what the mark says, shall we? Hmm. W.M. Rogers Manufacturing Company. And it has an S and an I for the maker's mark. 
EX, AAEX, that it is definitely silver plated and not silver. Rang up 60, 60, 61. That was the target. Yep. Nice spoon. I believe we might have another spoon, maybe. I'm almost down to it, but I think it is a spoon. Huh, I'm gonna have to go behind it just a little bit. Ugh. Definitely the handle to something. It's copper. Come on now. Having a lot of difficulty getting this up. There we go. Well, <laughs> that is not a spoon. I don't know what that is. It's copper. Huh. Oh, there we go. We got writing. Oh. Patented in 1903. Um. Foot, Dr. Scholl's Foot Ease, patented July 11th, 1905, to February 25th, I thought that said 08, 05 to 08, 1905 and 1908, this is a for a shoe, Dr. Scholl's Foot Ease, holy cow, that is awesome. Dr. Scholl's Foot Ease. Patented July 11th, 1905 to February 25th, 08, I think that says. That is incredibly awesome. What a cool find. Awesome. Dr. Scholl's. I didn't know they were that old. Sweet. I'll have to figure out what that actually looks like or is supposed to look like. I don't know what I have here. It almost looks kind of like a target. And I'm not sure. Feels kind of zinky, but it also feels like lead. I think it might be lead. I'm not sure. Well, that's a Dewey Roundup for the day. Sorry about the gunshots in the distance. Uh, a big lighter. That works. Awesome. Uh, another one of these things. I'm thinking they're electrical. Not sure though. Uh, a suspender gartery type thing down here. That's pretty cool and probably quite old. At least 1800s old, early 1900s. Clad. I did not get any old coins today. I got two pieces of a harmonica reed. Part of a bale, barrel off of a toy gun. It says something on there, made in probably USA. A Talcoletti lid. This thing, I don't know what it is. Really confused. Let me see here. Looks like it says K A R C O. Oh. Car Company, New York, maybe? Ooh. K-A-E Company. I don't know what this is. Is this like a sling or something? For a weapon, maybe? Or just farm equipment? I don't know. This guy was a Civil War soldier. A veteran. A Yankee. Huh. Don't know. This, I was thinking bridle rosette, but no, I'm not. I don't know. It looks like an oversized uh, shotgun uh, cartridge. Don't know. Spoon. Silver plated spoon. W.E. Rogers Manufacturing Company. Uh, and it's got a couple maker's marks on there. An I and an S. Uh, what's this? 38? Uh, yep, 38 Special. Dr. Scholl's Foot Easer, uh, patented July 11th, 1905, to February 25th, 1908. 
And here is my lead. Random fired lead all like 1880 and after. So I had a wonderful hunt. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next. Thanks for watching.